Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Jeff from Liquid Gaming. Today, we're going to be playing World of Warcraft, uh, Warlords of Draenor. I know that's not the current expansion, but I found something pretty neat that I want to show off. It is uh, a pretty widely unknown raid inside your garrison. So your garrison is a fort. Uh, you can upgrade it. You can put NPCs in it, hang out in it, invite friends to it. It's like your little house in-game. So... We're going to come over to this war table here, and we're going to grab a quest. It doesn't matter which one, just remember which one you grab. We're going to take this one, this guy here. Uh, so now what that's going to do is it's going to add a little bonus quest where we go to a specific area, and you'll see it loading up there. It wants me to do 100% damage. You'll see the little meter on the lower right. So I'll be in the area killing things till I max that out and complete my quest. Um... Uh, once I have the quest completed, I'm going to poof back to the garrison, and you'll notice I turn in the quests. You repeat this process a few times until the, you'll notice I'm turning in multiples. Um, so you're going to want to repeat that quest a few times and then come to this gentleman. This gentleman's going to have a quest called Invasion. Uh, which invasion you get depends on that initial quest that you took and ran multiple laps of. But anyway... We're going to unlock the invasion. We're going to start it. Now, before the invasion starts, I'm going to run inside and, and recruit some help real quick. Because I haven't done this in years. I used to have to have friends with me to do this. So solo, I don't know how it's going to work. I, I imagine pretty pretty smooth. But anyway, I'm going to go inside, talk to my little friend over here. Who, um, who adds some NPCs to the battle for me. Yeah, go protect my garrison. So now the dwarves are going to gonna mount up and help me out with my attack. So here comes the raid. Uh, it comes in stages, almost like the old uh, MOP scenarios. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna bring a bunch of aggro into your safe place, into your happy little safe zone of, of a garrison. And then at the end, a boss will come through. Um, and when you complete this, the loot is ridiculous. I would say you get 10 to 20 times more loot than a dungeon, well more loot than any raid. So, this is what it is. Uh, I used to station different human players at different places around the garrison to deal with the aggro, but I think considering I'm 20 levels or so higher, maybe even 30 levels higher than these foes, I should be good. So I'm just gonna run around, hitting everything I can. Killing everything I can. You'll notice on the you'll notice on the lower right under bonus objectives, it tells me how much points to achieve what tier. So right now bronze is is whatever amount of points. Um, you want platinum. You want to finish in, in platinum ranking to get the best the best loot. So here it is. I'm basically I'm just running around killing things. It's all pretty just basic. There's not a whole lot of strategy or complication here. Every now and then it might tell you that there's a spy you have to hunt down. Or a, a Rylock that's flying in that you got to attack. But it's pretty straightforward. Uh, here's one of the spies. Uh, you'll notice it puts the marker on the compass. You just go find the bastard. He's got a red arrow above his head somewhere. There he is. Just kick his ass. Boom. Done. So it's pretty much just rinse and repeat. Run around the garrison for a few minutes. And uh, I clear everything out. When Warlords of Drainer was the current expansion, uh, it would take a few human players to get this done. This was no easy task like what you're seeing now. I guess that's the benefit of doing old content. There was one of the Rylocks. Uh, I do apologize uh, for my garrison being decked out in Halloween decorations. I forgot to undo that after the event. I think my other garrisons are decked out like like other holidays as well. I have a Christmas one, but whatever. So there's a few different invasions you can do. We picked the Gorin one this time. Um, so the foes that attack the garrison, the boss that comes at the end, they're all dependent on which invasion you do. Um, and the invasion that you do is based off which quest you take in the beginning. Now, if you actually want to try to do this, there there's a little bit of info that I left out uh, from the video. 
When you see me walk up to the table and take the quest, that's a daily, so you're only going to get one shot at that per day. You need to run several laps of the bonus quest to unlock this invasion. You got to run two to three in one day. So how that's going to work is you walk up to the war table and you take a quest. Um, you, you, you know, you make a mental note of which one you've taken. After you clear it, <clears throat> you come back to the garrison and take your reward for it. That table's not going to light up for you again. No more quests for, for 24 hours or whatever it is. So you got to go to your, uh, your garrison vendor. He's usually right outside the door of the main building of the garrison, and he sells the missives. M-I-S-S-I-V-E, missives. And what those are is they're pieces of paper, you buy them, and when you buy them, they turn on those bonus quests. So, I went and took the bonus quest for Zone, whatever it was, uh, Magnarok, I think it was called. So after I cleared that, I came back to the garrison, turned in the quest, went to the vendor, and purchased the same missive for the same zone, the Ragnarok missive. And then I cleared that, came back, and I think I actually had to buy a third one. Uh, it's it's random. It could be either one, two, three, four, five. Uh, it, it, there's, there's no set amount of laps to turn on the invasion quest. So I hope that makes sense. You go to the table, you grab the quest, you complete it. You come back, you buy the missives for the same area, and you just keep clearing them until the NPC vendor has the question mark over his head, or the exclamation mark above his head, and has the invasion quest. Hope that clears that up. I'm still running around the garrison whooping ass. Um, trying to see what rank I'm working on. It looks like I'm up to gold. Looks like I'm working on gold. Now, another good thing about this is that the loot at the end is not distributed in any way amongst the team. So if there's one player, that one player gets all of his loot. If there's two players, each player gets all of their loot. I don't know how, if that makes sense, but you're going to see when I complete this, I'm going to get a shitload of caches and chests to open. Um... If there was another player with me, they would get the same amount of chests to open, uh, and so on. So it is fun if you have alts, second accounts, friends, drag them along. Um, it's definitely worth it. Alright, where are we at here? We're still working on gold. A few more hits to gold, 776, trying to get to 1000. Uh, you'll notice different kills give different points as well. So these little stupid plants are one. Then the bigger Gorons are two and three. Uh, some of the big guys are up to 20. So keep an eye out for the big points. That guy was a big point. I need a target. I 875. Come on. Boom. Oh man, I wasn't even thinking. I have the uh, that garrison skill. That's that makes a bunch of garrison soldiers come out and fight with me. Should have popped that off. Anyway, we're about to hit the cusp of one thousand, which puts us in the realm of gold reward. I highly doubt we'll get anything but the top tier reward. I mean, this is set for characters that I don't even think are level ninety, and we're well above one hundred and ten. All right, there's gold. Now we're working on, is that platinum? I can't see what that says. I apologize. Look at all these damn movies. I gotta say, this is one of the more boring invasions and I apologize for doing the goring one. Um, some of the other areas spawn way more exciting foes. All right, so I'm just going to keep running around doing my thing. Now, I try to imagine this back in the day when the max level was 90. Uh, a lot of these mobs needed to be old school. You know what I mean? You had to have a tank and you had to have some DPS and you had to have a healer. You had to position characters around the garrison in specific spots to deal with the invasion. Um, 
Now we're a few expansions past this. The the level cap is much higher. The item levels are much higher. The everything about the game is is much higher. So coming here at this point is pretty much cakewalk. You can walk through and just one shot everything, just AOE everything, and solo this down. But I do remember coming back in the day and failing these happened often. Um, Teams would be yelling at each other, you know, get over to the whatever, the go get the spy, blah, blah. It would get all crazy. Um, but now it's it's a pretty simple process. So I'm just going to finish this off. I know I'm hitting top tier. It's almost impossible at this point not to. Um, or my 13 out of 14. Yeah, a couple more shots and I'll be at top tier. And then I can show you the loot and how the loot works out for this. I, I don't remember a lot about this. I wish I had more details for you. I know I'm such a shitty YouTube video maker. I don't, I don't bring details to the table. I think you need a tier three garrison for this. Um, the technique for doing it, like I try, I tried to explain in the beginning, but I really don't think I, I, I did it any justice. You have to take the quest from the war table and complete that bonus objective. Come back to your garrison, walk to the NPC, vendor in your garrison and buy a missive for the same area that you just cleared. That's basically the technique for unlocking the invasion is two or three laps of the same bonus invasion. So you take one from the war table and then you buy the missives from the vendor. If you don't know what missives are, you can look those up on Guild Wiki. They're basically pieces of paper that unlock bonus objectives out in the world, kind of like a world PvE situation. That was the stupidest thing I've ever said. But so here we go. Place is cleared out. We got top tier rating. And now we're going to go handle the boss. Back in the day, if you got this far, you were lucky. And this boss was, was a serious problem. Uh, obviously, at current expansion time, this was a raid boss. So here you'll see him coming through the gate at some point here. Uh, OK, here he comes. I'm gonna take him down in like three shots. But like I said, normally this would be a problem at current expansion. So bink, bang, boom, he's done. Bow! There's the loot I spoke of. It's just caches and bags and chests and boxes full of full of items. As you pop those open, you're gonna get items, gold, resources, mounts, items. Uh, it's a good time. Liquid Gaming is the name of the channel. It's also the name of the guild. I'm Jeff. This is World of Warcraft. Peace out.